Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom, and I survived yesterday working late. What was I thinking? I'm hurting today. Oh, can you hear it echoey? It's echoey up here. Oh, no. Yes, I worked way too hard yesterday. It was unreal, but I got it done. I dreaded that jacking and beating those plates into position. Yes, I knew it was going to be terrible. Oh, this is echoey out here. This is weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll clear my voice. <coughs> Does that help, Les Nesman? Can you see me now? All right. This is weird. It's, it's echoey. It's nothing to do with me. All right. This morning we woke up to minus two, but feels like minus five. Maybe that has something to do with the echo echoiness. All right. So on the yo-yo scale, plus 28 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 23 Fahrenheit. Yes. The comments weren't working yesterday. Some of the comments I replied to didn't go through, so I redid it and stuff, but that's okay. Just keep trying. If you're like that Ben Ben guy, just put okay. Yes, well, I'll see it. Just keep adding okay. I'll see it. Okay. Oh, uh, Miss, uh, oh, <laughs> ah, my goodness. I'm totally unprepared today. All right, let's go back to regular schedule programming. It's Sunday. Get your vacuum out. Yes, look at that. Isn't that just excellent? It's all sand and everything for me walking in the house. The office, I mean. Unreal. Also, too, I'm being distracted over here. It's not by the lack of sunshine. But we have ravens. Okay. They're up in the tree right here. I don't know if we can see them. There's a nest up there. We watch them build it. So the ravens we like. Everybody hates ravens. But uh, Blackie Lawless sings black forever. He has the raven in there. Ravens are good. They're scroungers. They're scavengers. They take care of everything, including little squirrels that torment the dogs and everything like that. So now that we have the raven's nest up here, and I think there's little ones in the nest. I'm not sure. I was distracted this morning. So that's why we have no squirrels running around stealing the bird feed out of the bird feeder. Yes, because we have ravens. All right, let's continue the scroll. Hopefully I'm not distracted. Just like a movie with boobies. I get distracted so easy. All right, so no wood stove smoke today. We're going to get the snow truck out of the loader shed. We're going to work on it today as a relaxing project because I'm stiff and sore from pounding on that bent steel yesterday yes what was i thinking and that hammer so big in my younger days i could hold it with one hand swing it with one hand with a beer in my other hand and do the how would you say beating of the metal into submission but at my age i have a hard enough time lifting it up twice to hit it twice all right okay so we did the full rotation all right let's get back to regular schedule programming we have a busy day I have to go out and walk the dogs. Yes, and put more toothpicks on the farm wagon that's in the wilderness. All right, better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, this morning's intro, I got distracted. There are little baby ravens up there, and I was watching them being fed and everything, so that surprises me being this early in May, and they're growing up that they're hatched or whatever that they're actually eating. So it must be a little cold for them up there. All right, so back to regular schedule programming. Yesterday's video, I don't know what the uh, photo legacy or whatever on the computer did with the staff's end of day video with the temperature and everything. We're not sure how it happened, but we find if we move the pictures from the Mi phone over to the photo legacy or whatever that uh, program we use, sometimes if they get encoded or encrypted, they don't show up. They'll be there in the when I'm viewing it, but when you save it as the end product, it's not there. All right. So I used my hole this morning and I rolled out some belting. Look at how far it is. So I've had this belting for close to 25 years. So maybe I'm going to use it and I'll have to move the 48 sedan delivery. So we have room. Yes. And look at the flags. It's a nice day. And they're in their limp state. Oh, well, let's get back to work. The boss is grouchy today. Also, too, the staff refused to buy bacon at 1095 because they brought some in. So she bought breakfast sausages at $8. That was even better. So, okay, so we're having Bake? No, we're having eggs and sausages today. I guess that's a pure English breakfast, isn't it? Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom, and I cut up this big tree so we can save it for next year. Yes, yeah, so we put it in the little log trailer there we made out of scrap metal last year. Recycled everything, the wood, the bolts, the axles, the hitch. And over here we have a little debris pile which we'll pick up at a later date when it's dry. All right, let's go have some 
eggs and sausages. I think that's an English breakfast. Oh, well, we'll find out. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, and before lunch I had set this up. I was going to wait for the staff to help me roll out the belt with a mini hoe. Yes, you can always count on your hoe to be handy. All right, so here we're doing a test fit, a test run, and everything like that. Okay, we have this belting. It's 24 inches wide. We've had it for 25 years or more, okay? So we're doing a test fit. We want to be able to buy bombardier or muskeg buggy tracks, okay? Because the belting can be purchased with the right width and with the holes already in the belting okay so what we're doing here is we have a cleat a broken cleat from the muskeg buggy because it has two sprockets two idler wheels and stuff like that so we're getting a feel of what it's going to take okay because we're going to have to make a steel cleat for over the tires okay and then we want the spacing to be correct like a bombardier in case we have to go to a sprocket drive. Yes, we can always put an axle up here as a sprocket drive if this fails miserably. But this worked for the old timers back in the day. So I think we can make it work because we have the technology, the vodka and the titty. Oh, Jack Daniels too and the titty vodka. All right. So this is what we got here. So we got to figure this out. So with this belting being 24 inches wide, the center seems to be good because the outside edges get munched. So maybe we can cut the edges off and then cut the middle in half to have two six inch strips. So two six inch strips of belting, one on each side. And if we make our own cleats, this will work out. Of course, I put the belting on the wrong side because this is the smaller fat tire. Yes, the fat one, the wider one. So I should have done this to the other side, but we're going to do a belt layover to see what we got for clearance and stuff like that. I'm just waiting for the staff to show up sober and then we can begin. Sunday morning in Whoville and it's just after 9.30 a.m. and I'm finally rolling out of bed. I am still kind of sick, so I didn't really sleep much last night. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast. Then at 1 p.m. I have to go over to the kingdom and help my dad with a few things and then make a ham dinner for supper. 12.30 and I'm just finishing up lunch. I had craft dinner with hot dogs mixed in. It was actually pretty good this morning. I spent a couple hours cooking the plasma cutter beads. I'll show you right here. They were pink and purple and when you dry them out for a couple hours in the oven at low temperature, they turn back to blue so my dad can use them again. Now let's get the quad out and head on over to the kingdom. Just after 1 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Went down to the shop and my dad asked me to fill a couple buckets with some snow because it's been four weeks in Whoville without the water machine at the store so we're getting a little thirsty here. There is some snow in the bush and all the places the sun hasn't hit it yet so let's go find some snow while my dad gets ready with the snow truck. Down at the front gate now and I'm going to fill up the bucket with some of the snow that's here. You can see there's still a quite a bit of snow in the bush last where the sun hasn't hit it so I should be able to fill up this bucket and a few others here and then I can go find some more fresh snow. Just finished filling up all the buckets and I can head back up to the house and put all this into the bathtub. That way it can melt and then my dad can boil it and filter it out a few times so it's drinkable and he can cook with it. Made it back up to the house and I'll haul this inside and put it in the bathtub so it can melt and then I'll go down to the shop and see if my dad's ready to work on the snow truck. 1.30 and I'm down at the shop now. We are going to put the belt on the snow truck here to get an idea on what we have to build and what we need. We do not need the very end here because it is old and all rotten and stuff. So we're going to cut that off. Then we'll use the mini to roll the belt onto place so we can get a little measurement and figure out what we need to do. Got the end of the belt cut off. Now my dad's going to use the mini and lift up the front end of the snow truck so we can pull it ahead and then we'll wrap the belt around and we can get some measurements on what we all need.
got the belt on no problem now my dad's going to mark it using the nice markers we got from rex in california they work great we also have to do an overlap on it that way we can clamp it together the old style way because we do not want to use the new style clamps on it which make them clamp together we want the overlap because if this rubber does not hold we can always replace it now my dad's going to fiddle with it to get it into place Got the track all cut up into its pieces here. This is just our tester piece so we can get an idea on what we need. We also cut it in half so it's easier to roll back up. These will be going in the boxcar, maybe one of the trailers. That way if we need it again, we don't have to go searching for it. 2 p.m. We just got the snow truck moved. Now we are going to roll up the tracks here. My dad made sure to mark the one track. That way we know which is which. So now we'll roll these up and put them on a pallet and then put them away somewhere. Got all the rubber rolled up and taped down, that way it doesn't unroll itself while we're moving it. We are just going to put it all onto the pallet there and then it can go into one of the trailers. The last thing we do is roll up this one so my dad can work on it. At least this tape is cooperating, the other one, half of the roll wouldn't work. Well, it is old tape. Not that old. He made sure to roll it so his writing's on the outside, that way he can actually see it if he doesn't cover it all up with tape. Good thing it's clear tape so he can see through it. Just after 2 p.m. and I'm officially done in the kingdom, now I'll head on back into Whoville with my treats and start cooking the ham, and then at 6 p.m. or so I can bring it back and do the weather. 2.30 and I just made it home from the kingdom. Now it's time to put this ham on for a few hours. Supper should be ready around 6. At 4 p.m. I'll start my prep. I think I'm going to do baked potatoes this time since I don't have very much water, so let's get cooking. 5.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been extra nice today. I was sweating well over at the kingdom. I already have my baked potatoes on. They're almost done. Now I can start the stuffing and the gravy and then the vegetables last and head on over to the kingdom. Okay, I'm still hurting from yesterday and the day before and all the work we've done to please the boss. So the staff did the overnight bead drying, 24-hour service for your beads to be dried for your... Uh, plasma cutter your bead dryer okay so over here we're doing other things i thought today i'd rebuild the motor in the snow truck and get it up and running and do a yada 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 so what we're doing is these are the side rails off one of the sleighs they were on the sleighs for about 20 years or 25 years and then we took them off tossed them in the steel shed and they're a pain in the ass because they don't lay because of the post sticking out so what we're doing is cutting the posts off using everybody's ready the Pro Point 38 Plus from Princess Auto. Okay, this is a walk and talk video, so it's dark in the shop, it's cool, and we'll go out the door where it's sunny and bright, but there's hardly any wind. Okay, so we have the chop saw set up. Okay. So what we used for rails back in the day, these came from the mine in scrap. This is solid bar. Okay, this isn't square tubing, that's solid bar. All right, so we're cutting it to the lengths, degrees, and philosophies, and plus we're cutting out the bent stuff. All right, let's continue the walk. I don't know how many feet a day or miles we travel. Okay, so I get my exercise. We're going over here. And this deck, being a log truck, they were banging the floorboards down with the grapple to get the logs, so to get under them and the stuff like that. So I did the spider cuts and then I did the booger welds on them and stuff like that. And we need some support in here. I'm not going to waste good angle iron in here. 
okay I just want to keep this from uh, settling or anything like that so we take this steel bar and uh, weld it into place this one here we have a little dressing up to do because we want this all smooth because when you go to paint it uh, it takes forever to paint and stuff and we have lots of cracks and everything like that to weld so if we do all the preliminary and pre-cuts today then we can have a good production day on Monday when it's back to the regular hours and the boss is an asshole. All right, I better get to work. Okay, after coffee in the kingdom, I decided I would relax and enjoy the beer because it's tasting so good today after I worked so hard. So we're taking tire chains off. So I brought the 41 Chevy over here so we can pop those tire chains off. That way the sun isn't drying out those tarp straps because they're getting expensive now. Look at that, I did the 38 GMC already. Look at that, one, two. And I'll mark those chains because they fit that truck, so they'll go in a in a pail to uh, go in a pail well marked, so we can find them when it snows next week. All right, let's get back to work, so we can have some more beer. Okay, that was only 15 minutes because there's pins, there's bolts, there's clevises, there's uh, levers, there's hooks, everything. But this time I got smart. I don't know if we can see the yellow paint there, Les Nessman. Oh, where? Oh, maybe over here. I used the yellow paint marker to mark the links where it has to go back together. So I'm finally getting smart after all these years instead of sitting there fiddling around and trying and trying to get them to hook up and to be tight. All right, let's move the 41 Chevy off the chains and then we can put them in pails and then they're going in shed number seven. So they're ready for next week when the snow comes again. Okay, that only took another few minutes and we have the pails all marked, okay? We're starting to put these tags in the pails instead of writing on the pails because then when you go to reuse the pail, you have to stroke everything out. So this works out good. So that's the driver's side chains for the 41 Chevy. Passenger side chains. We have them that way for photos because of the, they look good that way. And we have the 38 GMC and all the tarp straps for the 41 chevy to hold the chains on all right let's see if we can get the dolly cart started and get the chains over to the shed okay to finish out today we had play time yes we have lots of this short drill steel okay so if we take the plasma cutter and cut it in half and then we have pieces right and which is what we want but the thing is there's no sense getting fancy and cutting degrees angles and philosophies until we figure it out what we need is this in here okay so i did some booger tacks with the Pro, uh, hobart handler 100 i didn't clean the welds nothing just tack it beat it bend it because this is what we want we want it to sit on the tire okay and then the tracks will bolt down in here okay so this will give us a cleat and we got movement here but also too we have a small tire back here and this will be the tire we use up here okay and this should work out once we figure it out. So I'm doing this now because I have all summer to think about it. Also too, Henry Ford on his Model T bomb, uh, snowmobiles, he put little plates up in here to keep the tra track from riding up. So it'd be little bumper bars or whatever. So we'll see what this does. So this was what, this is how you get creative when you drink beer and you don't want to work. So as the boss would say, play time. But I think we got enough of this that we can cut it out and figure out the, how to cut it so it can be welded together simple. And then this here will give us uh, traction or whatever, as you say. And this being drill steel, it has a fair amount of strength. We can always weld plate across it or something or something like that. There's lots to figure out, but that's why we're doing it now at the start of summer. So we can figure it out by fall or winter, yes. But this will be a good winter project making lots of them. Also, too, today we had problems with the overhang on the wings here. Yes, yeah, the overhang. So we're trying to black up straight and get the snow truck out of the shed there and the belting and everything. So the loader kind of, these pieces were in the road. So we cut them off with the chop saw blade in the grinder with all the safety guards and everything like that. Also, too, you got to remember this plane was underwater at the island in 2020 when the water was high. Plus, it was well burnt. Look at the material. Like, this is still solid material. Like they built this plane pretty good, you know, back in the day using quality equipment. All right, let's go check on the flags, which are right here. Okay, the flags are enjoying themselves. I think my ham dinner should be on its way over here. So I'll quickly walk the dogs, enjoy a ham dinner, make a video, and we'll talk to you guys later.